Hi, my name is Sarif Kim and I'll be demonstrating experiment entitled Coil in SC Circle. Let's begin. In this experiment, there are two objectives. The first one is to measure the inductive impedance as the function of frequency and the second one is to measure the impedance of the coil. In this experiment, here are the several apparatus. Difference amplifier, digital function generator, oscilloscope, connection box, coils, resistor, BNC, and connecting cord. <coughs> now let's move on to the first objective. So in, in the first objective, here is the appendix used. So in this appendix, there are four columns. Inductance, resistance, frequency, and you are supposed to add the inductive impedance or XL. <coughs> okay. So let's try for the first flow, which is the <coughs> which is the coil with the inductance of 2.0 millihenry and the resistor with resistance of 50 ohms. So now here is not 2 millihenry. So this one is 2 millihenry as stated on this coil. So what we need to do is take out the connecting cord here and plug it in here. It doesn't matter which is which because the coil is not polar as long as it is connected here. Right. And we need the resistor with the resistor with the value of 50 ohms. experimental setup here. So now what we need to do is to find the is to measure the frequency here. <coughs> so to measure the, the frequency first we need to adjust the frequency so that both the amplitudes of the wave are almost equal. So to adjust the frequency first uh, press the button for frequency and there are two settings here first is to turn the knob just to adjust the value and the left and right cursor to change the digit so I will adjust the frequency until the amplitude is almost the same for both ways this alright so press ok and check to see if the amplitude is ok is almost the same so roughly from the diagram both are the same and you can also check the value and both are almost the same one is 13.52 and the other one is 13.364 so once you are satisfied Click stop to freeze the oscilloscope and take the reading here. So the reading from for the frequency here is 3.497 kilohertz. So once you have the frequency, jot it down here and repeat for the other combinations of inductance and resistance. Once all the columns of all the rows are filled in you will now calculate the inductive impedance here inductive impedance refers to the resistance caused by the coil in the AC circuit the inductive impedance is given in equation 4 where XL equals to 2 pi FL F here represents frequency L represents the inductance of the coil. So plug in, so 
it's so just substitute the value with the experimental value here f and substitute the l value here which is for example 2 millihenry and you will get the value for inductive impedance your result here should be good if the inductive impedance is almost equal to the value of resistance here right moving on to the second objective which is to determine the impedance of the coils so in this objective we will be using equation one which is omega l equals to xl this omega here refers to angular frequency which also equals to 2 pi f so uh, putting it into this equation and rearranging to get the l value we'll get l equals to xl over 2 pi f so the xl here refers to the inductive impedance we calculated just now and f here refers to the frequency which is the experimental one that we fill in here so we'll be using both of this value in the first equation to get the value of the inductance here after you get the value of L here you will compare it with the actual value which is 2 millihenry and 9 millihenry you will calculate the percentage error by, by using these two as theoretical value and the calculated L as the experimental value okay. so that's all from